Good evening, my dear students. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Karen. How are you? I am very, um, very well. <laughs> Let's see. Good night, night, teacher. Huh? Good night, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Monica? Vamos a esperar a que se conecten algunos compañeros para iniciar la clase. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Aquí en September Rain. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I think it's November rain, no? <laughs> <laughs> All People right. of Guns and Roads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I was telling you. I think it's November rain. All right. Yeah, it, it is raining pretty hard, so I will understand it by any chances. Any of you, uh, it's not able to be in the class because I know that it's difficult because the internet is not working so well. So that might be the reason why. All right, everyone. So welcome to today's class. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. Welcome back. I miss you from the, from the weekend. And I have seen that you've been working a lot on the exercises. And I was wondering, how are you doing with the exercises? In which parts are you right now when, what things are you feeling issue with? Okay, so I want to know, ¿Cómo vamos con los ejercicios de la plataforma? Esta fin de semana colapsó WhatsApp de ejercicios. Very difficult. <laughs> difficult. Ajá. It was pretty difficult. Well, Muy exacta la gramática, incluso por punto, por un espacio. No, este, incluso, se, bueno, en mi caso probé bastantes opciones, aunque sabía la respuesta, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, a veces por un espacio después del apóstrofe, en el caso de Itz, pues, me costó, pero al final lo logré. Pero sí, fue todo un reto. Muy, porque sí, eh, cuesta acostumbrarse a, a algo tan... Exacto. Pero vale la pena, ¿no? Claro, vale la pena. Es un reto. <laughs> Very good. As everything in this life, como todo en esta vida. Ay, very good, Carlos. Thank you so much for expressing yourself. Excellent. What about the other ones? How do you felt the exercises? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sintieron la plataforma? ¿Cómo vamos con los ejercicios? Hola. Hi, Emilio. Hola. Eh, sí, fíjese que este, en mi caso, yo comentando porque sí le estoy con esto. Me había pasado todo. Este, ya voy en el primer, el primer ex, examen. Este, pero me falta todavía, teacher. Ya, yeah, I got you, Emily. Don't worry. Comprendo, comprendo. Y yo sé que cuesta, puede notar eso, muy que eh, costó un poquito más. Y quiero, bueno, traigo unos ejercicios aquí que se los voy a mostrar, que me pareció bien llamativo ver que todos me preguntaron por el mismo ejercicio exactamente. So, 
eh, se los voy a mostrar en un momento. Primero quiero presentarles la PPT. All right. Yes, Ruben, it's true. It's raining very hard. It's raining really hard. So don't worry. I will understand if your lights went off, right? Or go um, off. All right, everyone. So welcome. Today is Monday, September 6th. We are in class nine. All right. Imagine you're moving forward. And we have this double H questions with B. Let's pay carefully attention to this, all right? Let's practice as much as we can with these types of questions. Because I have noticed that some of you are still having issues with this. So let's see. I'm going to ask William, can you please read the first question? What's your name? Give me the answer, William. My name is William. Excellent, very good, thank you. Let's see, Janira, ask question number two. Where? Where are you from? I am from Canada. Can Canada. Excellent, very good. Yes, indeed. Mary, number three, please. Number three, how are you? How are you today? I am just fine. Excellent, really good. Carlos, who's? Who's that? He's my brother. Exactly, there you have it, thank you. Monica, how? How old is he? He's 21. Excellent, thank you. Aníbal, what's? What he like? He's very nice. Exactly, thank you. Let's go with Francisco, who? See, let's see. If not Jamilet, can you help me please? Who? Go out it. Go out it day. Day my class. My class. Class, no sé cómo se pronuncia. My classmates. My class means por cualquier cosa si se va la luz que me desconecto voy a tratar de conectarme del celular porque hasta hoy pago una de energía. It's true. Ya me pasó con la otro curso, así que no se preocupen. Sí. It's okay. All sí, right. sí. Por cualquier cosa le aviso. All right, thank you, thank you. All right, eh, de igual manera, si ustedes eh, ven que yo se me desconecta en algún momento la plataforma, eh, no se vayan a desconectar porque no significa que la clase haya terminado, right? Um, me pasó en el curso anterior y por eso les estoy diciendo, porque al final sí regresé a la clase un minutito después de que se me había ido. So, y, y terminé la jornada laboral como era. Así que si en dado caso a mí se me llega a ir, no se desconecten ustedes, solo esperen uno o dos minutos y yo estaré aquí de regreso. All right. Let's see. So, Yeah, I think I, I'm noticing that everyone is failing the internet. All right, let's go with the next one. Where, Mary? Where, where are they from? 
They are from Rio. Excellent, very good. And the last one, Janina, help me please. What's? What's real life is very beautiful. Excellent, very good. Okay, my dear students. What I want you to notice with these questions are the answers, the type of answers that you are going to provide, right? Notice, notice in here, my question, who are they? I cannot answer the question with um, it's or um. My answer should be with their, okay? I need you to focus on this because I noticed that some of us, we see the plural in the sentences, but we are not using them, right? So that's why I'm telling you this. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the guiding structure. For questions, you're always going to have this structure. Double H word plus verb to be plus pronoun dash or slash complement plus question. This is basic, you already know this. And I'm just checking right now if you have any questions. Do you have any questions about this topic? Tienen preguntas o dudas acerca de las preguntas con el WH? Double H. Now, okay, everything's clear, okay? So let's go to the part that I was talking to you about. This, complete the conversation, okay? I'm going to say this in Spanish. I've noticed, noté, pude notar durante el fin de semana y todavía ahora, que En estos ejercicios eh, hubieron muchas incógnitas como mías, porque yo lo estoy poniendo y no me sale bien, y no me sale bien. Y hay que fijarnos muy bien los contextos y esto yo siempre se los he dicho a ustedes desde la primera clase. Las cosas, a veces, bueno, hubo alguien que me preguntó cuál es la diferencia entre tal palabra y tal palabra, si son lo mismo. Los contextos, los contextos en los que estamos desarrollando. Hay que leer, número uno, hay que leer bien las instructions. Les aparecen en ambos eh, languages, en in English and in Spanish. En las instructions, bueno, eso es muy aparte de las instructions. Pero en, la, en cada pregunta ustedes van a notar si está hablando en tercera persona singular o en first person singular. Right? Por ejemplo, en esta, excuse me. Mm, algunos me habían puesto, is you Mr. Brown? ¿Por qué el is? Si en ninguna parte de la estructura vimos que el is se puede utilizar con el you. Y este es un momento donde ustedes me pueden preguntar a mí, pero yo creí que no era así porque aquí están, estas son las respuestas correctas donde dicen answer. Y aquí podemos, porque yo lo que quiero es que analicemos estas para ver en qué, qué podemos rellenar para lograr comprender todo. So, por anotar eso, y si estamos utilizando el you, el subject you, we are going to use third person singular. Y si no les sale con la primera vez que ponen are, Tienen que intentar de otras tres formas. With capital. And then the normal letter. Of the whole word with capital. Right? That was in first and number one. In number two. <coughs> if you notice, this is a conversation, right? This is a conversation. William, please tell me the answer of letter B. No, I'm not. Exactly. 
William, desde su perspectiva, ¿hubiera sido posible poner no is not? No. O no, you are not. No, you're not. No, they are not. No. All right. No. O sea, eh, lo que usted dice es lo correcto, ¿verdad? Que es de ver el, el contexto de la pregunta, el contexto de toda la conversación para uno este, poder ir poniendo lo que es la respuesta correcta. Claro, es difícil, pero eh, también utilizamos la lógica y pues vamos avanzando. Okay, thank you, William, thank you. Let's see, Carlos, you're raising your hand. Sí, quizás estaba viendo y revisando que por lo menos en mi caso, ¿verdad? la mayoría de problemas que tuve fue con el uso de las apóstrofes. En la configuración de, de la mayoría de teclados con el idioma, cuando usted coloca la apóstrofe, automáticamente le tira un espacio. Entonces, ese espacio... Eh, créame que fue un, todo un reto quitarlo al final pues lastimosamente <ríe> utilicé el whatsapp web porque en el teléfono el uso del apóstrofe no me tiraba el espacio entonces prácticamente hice una copia y pega pero lo, puse la respuesta en el teléfono y solo la trasladé a la plataforma fue una estrategia que la aprendí en el momento porque sí es bien complicado a veces las configuraciones de los idiomas de los teclados Exactly. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. There you have a point, actually. And you have a clever point in there. Un punto muy, muy interesante. Eh, los apóstrofes pueden influenciar mucho. Veo que alguien más. Ah, Karen. Ajá, Karen. Igual con lo que menciona Carlos, este, eh, con el apóstrofe, yo lo que hice fue como en la misma plataforma hay también este que ya traen eh, el apóstrofe eh, eh, cualquier otra cosa lo copiaba borraba las la que llevaban al principio al final para pegarla porque así con el teclado eh, cabal me daba error siempre excelente very good Karen strategies excelente ya ven qué bueno nos están ayudando excelente now listen um, yeah sometimes happens that Ajá, Alejandro Ay, mis, y fíjese que yo tuve que cambiar de teclado. Yo descargué la, bueno, para Android descargué el teclado que usan los Samsung y eh, solo se cambia la configuración a inglés y es un poco más fácil porque sí con el que trae de fábrica sí me costó bastante. Yeah, it happens, it happens. All right, thank you. Another clever point. Excellent. Bien, All right. Bien. Very good, everyone. Now you see. Now you're telling me what was the issue, what was the problem. And I want you mainly to focus, my dear students, in context, right? Read. Miren, un secreto que sí les va a ayudar, que no es secreto, porque todos hemos crecido aprendiendo eso. Bueno, yo no sé si a ustedes les decían, siempre termina de leer todo. Always finished reading everything before completing it, antes de completarlo, right? Es bueno, y como consejo se los digo, que lean todo el script, todo el guión de la conversation y puedan sacar un pequeñito análisis antes de completar los ejercicios. Porque hay cosas que sí las saben, porque aquí en clase me las han dicho y me quedé un poco como surprised que ahí me las estuvieran confundiendo, como el, me estaban utilizando el is con el R, como si el is se utilizara para plural y el is no se puede. Y en repetidas ocasiones mencioné eso, lo practicamos. You cannot use is in plural, that's impossible, that's not possible. And you cannot use R. If I say I are, you cannot say that, right? So that was the one thing. Let me check. Karen, can you please read the following B? She's other day. My name is Nicole Parker. En esa sí me confundí bastante a la hora de estarlo haciendo. 
Mm -hmm. Right, excellent, very good. Now, if you notice, thank you, Karen. In here, we are talking about Miss. Mrs. must be a woman, right? Or a girl or someone from their gender uh, feminine, right? Alguien del género feminine, because we're using Mrs. Brown. And that's why he's asking. And when he receives the answer, no, I'm not, that person is telling you, she's over there. She's over there, right? We are still talking about Mrs. Brown. Todavía seguimos hablando de la primera persona, Mrs. Brown, right? No es Mr. Brown, es Mrs. Brown, okay? Now in here, I got you these options. Les puse estas opciones porque quiero que vean que con esto la plataforma se los puede aceptar. Eh, you can use she's in contraction and with capital letter. You can use she's in contraction with normal letters, normal letters, and she's, oh no, and she is individual, she is long form, or she's everything in capital letters. You have options. What I want you is not to complicate, right? Like, no, no quiero que se me vayan a defraudar ustedes mismos por pensar, no, no logro pasar de este ejercicio. Busquen opciones, busquen opciones. Siempre va a haber más de una opción para todo. Y lo bueno es que me buscaron para que yo les pudiera ayudar y eso está perfecto. Pero sí quiero que intenten con más opciones. Algunos de ustedes notaron que yo les estuve dando las respuestas seguiditas y a otros sí los hice pensar un poquito más porque yo sabía que sabían la respuesta. Solo teníamos que analizar bien lo que se nos estaba preguntando, right? Continue, Carlos. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's nice to meet you. Right, excellent. Y aquí estaba lo de En esa más que todo fue. The apostrophe. Yeah, I know. And I, under, uh, I was able to understand you guys because it happens. Sometimes we let more space. While I was watching your exercises, I noticed that they have correct answer what's going on. And the issue was that the space, right? So just for you to keep in mind, um, when, it happened, this, when it happens, these types of things, you just gotta be careful and rewind yourself. If you're adding more space, if you're not adding the correct space, including if you're adding a dash or something that shouldn't be there, that's what I need you to analyze. And this other part, which <clears throat> I was wondering, why was it so difficult? Okay. Instructions, complete the conversations with the correct answers. One, conversation, A. Hirashi, are you and Michael, Michael from Japan? Let's see, Janita, B. Yes, we are, or are, or are. Exactly. Tenemos la misma respuesta escrita de diferentes maneras, right? Pero es lo mismo. Si utilizamos el we, no podemos utilizar is. Eso es lo que, esto es mi main point in here. Esto es lo que quiero dejar bien claro. Si utilizamos el we, no puedo utilizar we, it's. That's not possible. Tampoco we, it's. You cannot use it. Okay? And I noticed that some of you did, and I was wondering why. Why if we know that we use we, are. That's the only option that you have, right? Let me check. Monica, continue, please. Oh, are you from Tokyo? Mm -hmm, exactly. 
another thing. Some of you were asking me, Miss, what can I put in there? What can I add in there? Remember questions with verb to be? Are you? And remember, you cannot say, is you from Tokyo? You cannot say that. And I'm telling you this really out loud and clearly. You cannot say that. Only this is the only one that you can use. Continue, Aníbal. The B exercise, the second B. Mm -hmm. Exactly, this one. Uh, no, we're not. Exactly, plural. Ahí aparecía ese mensajito, esa palabra que decía plural. Si nos está diciendo la oración que vamos a utilizar plural, no podemos utilizar singular. For logic, como mencionaba William, for logic no podemos utilizar singular. Por eso siempre les pido, cuando yo traigo material nuevo, que si ustedes gustan, lo copien. Y también les mencionaba la vez anterior, que ustedes, eh, yo sé que pasan bien ocupaditos, trabajan, tienen familia, un montón de cosas que hacer, pero tienen la ventaja de que estas grabaciones quedan en YouTube y ustedes las pueden ver, por si tienen alguna duda. All right? Lo que quiero que quede very clear in here is that you cannot use singular if it's telling you that it's plural. No is not, that's not plural. No, I not, that's not plural. No, we are, that's plural. Continue, Karen, please, the last one. We're from Kyoto. Exactly. And then again, it's telling you plural. You cannot talk about yourself because actually the conversation says, Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? We're talking about two people, not talking about one, we're talking about two. So that's why we need to use plurals. All right, with that being said, I hope everything is clear. No more questions or doubts. If you have questions or doubts, this is your moment to tell me, Miss, por esto me confundí, Miss, ¿qué pasó aquí? Ahorita pueden preguntarme y yo les ayudo con eso. ¿Alguna consulta sobre el uso del plural and singular? No questions? I have a question, but not with with use of singular plural. Uh -huh, okay, tell me, Aníbal. Uh, well, in the platform, in exercise 5.13, is uh, exercise, there is an exercise with sounds of what, what's Mary doing? And okay. the first sound, I can put the correct answer because I, if I uh, put a, what I think that she's doing in the sound, uh, I can not put the correct answer. So I don't know what is she doing in okay. that sound. Uh, tell me which number of exercise again, Aníbal, please. Uh, 5.13. Ah, 5.15, let me check. Okay, Aníbal, but I think I have you because you, you text me before about an exercise, right? Uh, yeah, I, I finished the, the, all the platform exercise around uh -huh. two weeks, I guess. And that's only the incorrect answer that I have. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, the thing is that I'm telling you this because I will help you. I will send you how to make the exercise. 2.15, no, 5.15, you told me, right? Uh, 5.13. Mm, 13, okay. In number one, what's Mary doing? You told me, right? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> You have multiple choices. <laughs> you have multiple choices in here. You yeah, can say something. Put, uh, she, she's turning the TV, she's watching the TV, she's turning the radio, and I don't know what the, the real But she's answer. driving. 
but she's driving. That's another action. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Well, you can try with she's driving because actually that's the one that I have and it's correct. All right, uh, but well, uh, okay. You can use it with contractions or not. Yeah, right. yeah, I use it. Okay, okay. If by any chance you have another question, don't worry, you can ask me, all right? Okay, now, thank you. You're welcome. Now, everyone, with that being said, Let's move on. We have adjectives. Angela Rosario. Uh -huh, Angela, tell me. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> eh, una pregunta, Miss. Eh, ¿Cuándo vamos a usar eh, contractada la respuesta y cuándo no? Usualmente los ejercicios de la plataforma le dicen puede utilizarla de manera contractada o de respuestas largas. Siempre que le diga de respuestas largas, es eso, que tiene que poner, en vez de poner am, va a poner I am. Gracias, gracias, Miss. You're welcome. You're welcome. Eh, también recuerden que las double H questions son las que tienen information answer. Con las double H questions, yo no puedo decir solo yes, no. Tengo que proveer más información. Ajá, Alejandro. Miss, yo estoy teniendo problemas con la conexión, me estoy saliendo y entrando, si se ha fijado. Pero uh -huh. tengo una duda. Hoy que llegué al, a uno de los ejercicios del 4.0 que le pregunté, vi un, un dibujo similar a ese, pero sí me sentía más perdido que Adán en el Día de las Madres, no, no sabía qué hacer. Entonces, eh, estaré pendiente de la explicación y si no, lo vería en YouTube para, para estar ahí eh, sabedor, porque si no hay algo que hacer ahí. Okay. okay, don't worry. Yeah, right now we are actually going to work with adjectives. Adjectives are pretty cool, everyone. And, and, and they are really interesting because remember that you use adjectives to describe people, right? For example, pay attention to this. He's really tall, really tall. He's handsome, handsome. She's thin, thin, like she's thin. He's short, short. She's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. <clears throat> she's really friendly, friendly. They're looking good, looking good. She's talkative, talkative. He's quiet, he's quiet. She's shy. Shy is the same thing as scared, she's shy. Well, it's not the same thing as scared, but it's like a synonym, right? Shy, he's funny, funny. She's serious. I want you to tell me this vocabulary. Why? Because adjectives are really used in every sentence that we are mentioned and that we are creating. Let's start with Maria Teresa. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Vocabulary, repeat adjectives. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, todos? Yes, all of them. He's already. Really, I repeat, please. He's really tall. He's really tall. He he's short. Short. He's short. Uh -huh. She's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. Heavy. She's thin. He's uh, teacher. No me sé el orden. No importa. No, no se preocupe oh, el orden. Okay. Lo que quiero saber okay. es cómo estamos con la pronunciación. Ok, ok, ok. She's thin, heavy, he's handsome, um, she's very pretty, or pretty. 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 They're good looking, she's really friendly, he's cute, cute, or cute. 
um, quite, quite. She is talkative. She is serious. She is fun, funny. Um, she is. ¿Cómo se dice la última teacher? She, serious. she is serious. Um, la de la esquina superior derecha. She is, shy. Repeat. Shy. Shy. She's shy. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Tímida. She's shy. Right? Tímida. Excellent. Let's go with William. Tell me the vocabulary, William. He's really tall. He's handsome. He's quiet. Quiet. She's thin. Quiet. He's quiet. Mm -hmm. He's short. She's thin. She's a little heavy. She's really friendly. They're good looking. She's very pretty. She's serious. She's serious. 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 This one, the little girl, the niñita. Yes. Serious. She's serious. She's serious. Mm -hmm. He's funny. She's talkative. She's shy. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Karen. Aha, Karen. Tell me the vocabulary, please. He really tall. He sure. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. 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 Mm -hmm. He's Quiet. Quiet. She's shy. She's tall. Tal Talkative. Talkative. They're, they're good looking. She's a little, little heavy. She's really pretty. She's serious. He's funny. Thank you, Karen. All right, an advice for everyone. Esto va para todos. Talkative. No vamos a pronunciar la L. No vamos a decir talkative. No. Es talkative. Lo mismo con walk. El verbo caminar, walk. No decimos walk. Decimos walk. No se pronuncia la L. Right? In here, talkative. Y es más fácil todavía. Talkative. She's talkative. Right? Let's go with Carlos Guevara. He's really tall. He's handsome. He's quiet. She's shy. He's short. She's thin. She's very, pe very pretty. Mm -hmm. They're good looking. She's tall. She's little heavy. She's really friendly. She's serious. He's funny. All right, repeat after me, Carla. She's talkative. She's talkative. Mm -hmm. She's talkative. Excellent, pretty good. Thank you, Carlos. Janira, your turn. She's very tall. She is short. She is she a light heavy. She is really friend. She is dim. She is handsome. She is very pretty. She is talkative. She is serious. She is funny. She is she? Shy. Shy. Oh. Shy. Shy. Mm -hmm. 
he is scared. All right, excellent. Repeat after me, Janina. Quiet. He is quiet. He is quiet. Mm -hmm. She is serious. Come She is serious. He is serious. Mm -hmm. Serious. Yes, serious. <laughs> that, uh -huh. Remember everyone, thank you, Yanira. Remember everyone, recuerden todos, that letter E, you need to pronounce it at E, serious. En español nosotros la conocemos como E, but in English it's letter E. So that's when you give the intonation, serious, serious, right? Because in English it's E. All right, let's go with Monica. Tell me the vocabulary, Monica. Yes. He is really tall. He is short. She is a little heavy. She is really friendly. Mm -hmm. they, go, they are good looking. She is serious. She is talkative. He is funny. She is... She, she is... She is shy. Re repeat. Shy. 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 He is shy. He is cute. Quiet. She, she is quiet. She is very pretty. He is, he is handsome. Is she, is she is thin. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Monica. Ruben Perez, tell me the vocabulary, please. He's really tall. He's handsome. She's thin. She's very pretty. He's quiet. She's shy. She's talkative. Talkative. No, she's not talking. Yeah, talkative. She's short. She's really heavy. Heavy. Mm -hmm. um, she's really friendly. She's serious. He's funny. All right. Thank you, Ruben. And now let's go with Aníbal. Galicia, tell me the vocabulary, please. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's really friendly. They're good looking. She's very pretty. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's, she's shy. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Gladys Escobar. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, sorry, teacher, I don't listen. Tell me the vocabulary, please. He's really tall. Yeah. Uh, Repeat after me, Gladys. He's huh? really tall. Uh, she's, I know he's, he's really say, say, perdón. Repeat after me, ladies. I'm going to help you. Yo le voy a ayudar. He's really tall. Okay. He's, he's really, really tall. Tall. She's thin. She's thin. She's thin. His. She's. His. His. Handsome. Handsome. Mm -hmm. She's very pretty. She's very pretty. He's quiet. She's quiet. 
His. No me confunde los subjects. His. His. He's quiet. He's quiet. She's shy. She's shy. She's talkative. She's talkative. He's funny. He's funny. She's serious. He's serious. They're There. Ah, yes. Very, very good class. Repeat after me. They are good looking. Very good looking. She's. She's. Really. Really. Friendly. Friendly. She's, she's a little no she's <coughs> ah, yeah. she's a little heavy. Heavy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with Alejandro. I don't know, Alejandro, if you can, but if you can open your microphone, tell me the vocabulary, please. Hola, hola, hola. Sí, hola, hola. Hi. Hi. Sí, le Repeat me, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Oh, okay, okay. He's really dark. He's handsome. He's yet. She's thin. She's very pretty. Uh, pretty. He's short. They are good looking. She's talkative. She's talkative. Repeat me. She's talkative. She's talkative. Mm -hmm. She's shy. She's little heavy. She's really friendly. She's serious. He's funny. All right. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. And the last one, Jamile Torres. If you can open your microphone and tell me the vocabulary, please. Jamilet, are you there? Hi. Hello. Jamilet, ¿nos escucha? Okay, I see that maybe you have problems. All right, everyone, let's go. Hi, Emile. Okay, if not, let's move on to this, adjectives, okay? Let's pay attention to this part, adjectives. Okay, I want you to recognize something. If I ask you to practice your pronunciation, it's because English is not only based on, English is not only based in full grammar, full speaking, it's also based in pronunciation and how do we read things, all right? So I'm trying to forge the four skills that you have, speaking, listening, reading, and writing, which is grammar, right? So that's why I'm always asking you for you to participate in my class. I'm going to have William, please William, read this information. Adjectives. Adjectives. 
adjectives are words they describe nouns or pronouns. All, green, and cheerful are examples of adjectives. It may be useful to think of adjectives as describing words. Excellent, thank you. So basically thank it's you, telling me. you, you're welcome. So basically it's telling you that it's useful, it's útil, it's useful to think of adjectives as describing words. That's the easiest way to see this information, okay? Adjectives describe. Those are the only thing that they do, describe words. They are describing words. So let's see, we have this guy in examples. My sister is short. Anna is heavy. Santi and Eunice are tall. They are tall. I'm a little short. Okay? I'm a little short. These are basic examples that you have. What I want you to do with this is the following. Instructions, okay? Aníbal, tell me the instructions, please. One, work individually. Two, create three, create three sentences using adjectives. Three, share your sentences with the class. Excellent, thank you. All right, now you know how to use adjectives because you know how to describe people in Spanish, so you may know how to describe people in English. So let's create, if you cannot create three sentences, at least create one or two, all right? But remember that the more you practice, the better you'll become. So let's practice. Finish. Excellent, already good. Finish teacher. Excellent. Okay, let's start with the example with the girls that already finished. Let's see, Monica, tell me your examples of adjectives. Okay, three examples. One, number one, my dog is funny. Mm -hmm. Number two, I am and tall. I am number, tall. And I am tall. Mm -hmm. Number three, my brother is serious. 
Excellent, Raul Monica, very good. Let's go with Maria Teresa. My example, um, number one, my husband is a realtor. Um, number two, my teacher Bebe is really friendly. Um, number three, my son is handsome. Right. Excellent, very good, Mary. Very good use of adjectives, thank you. Let me go with somebody else who has finished. What about Ruben? Did you finish, Ruben? My answer uh, is my sister Veronica is very friendly. My friend is very short. And my dog is very funny. Excellent. Very good. All right. There you have it. Karen. Let's see, Karen. Karen. My princess is asleep. He is very cool. She is very serious. Excellent. Very good. All right. She's very serious. What about Alejandro? Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, my brother is the very dancer. Uh, number one. Uh huh. My brother is the very dancer. Uh huh. Uh, number two, your daughter is very beautiful. Uh huh. Y la otra teacher es the three of the, the of them are very sleepy. All right, very sleepy. All right, very slim. good. Slim, slim, slim. 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 Let's see. ¿Cuál de estos adjetivos está utilizando? Ninguno, no está aquí el adjetivo que está utilizando. Uh, it's not teaching. No, it's not. ¿Y ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? ¿Puede repetirlo, please? Can you repeat it again? Uh, no, no estoy usando ninguno de estos. La oración es eh, en español: the, the tree of them are very sleeping. Very sleeping. ¿Eso quiso decir al final? Sleeping. ¿Cómo? Sleeping, solo el adjective. Quiero saber qué adjective puso, aunque no sea de esto, pero el adjective no se lo he logrado detectar. Si sí, me ha puesto uh, sleeping. Yo creo que sería very, porque sería son muy dormilones. Ah, ya. Yeah. They are very, very sleepy. Ellos tres son muy dormilones. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, Solo very, quería very. chequear esto, si era very sleeping. All right? Very good. Ah, okay. okay. Thank very you. Very good, Alejandro. Thank you. Let's go with Carlos. Okay. Number one, I am very tall and handsome. Number two, my sister is heavy. Number three, your dog is short. Excellent, very good, very good. Thank you, Carlos. What about you, William? Number one, my brother is a little heavy. My mother is very pretty. My friend is really tall. Mm -hmm. Very good. Repeat after me, William. Pretty. 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 Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Janira. Let's see, Janira. What do you have? Is tall, uh, tall, uh, 
Intelligent. Uh -huh, I'm intelligent. Very good. Laura is very pretty. Excellent. Very good. Repeat after me. Pretty. Como? Pretty. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Let's go with Aníbal. Tell me your sentences, Aníbal. Number one, Martha is awesome. Bert is very funny. Peter is a little heavy. All right, excellent. Very, very good. Angela Rosario, tell me your sentences, please. Number one, he's nice. Number two, she's smart. Number three, he's skinny. All right, excellent, very good, skinny, excellent. Gladys Escobar, tell me your sentences, please. Gladys? Yes, um, um, my sister is still. Um, my mom is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, my 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 boyfriend is ready. My boyfriend is ready. Ready. All right. All right. Now let's just check this one, everyone. Thank you, Gladys. When you, when you're talking about masculine gender, we don't say he's pretty. We have to say he's handsome. All right, handsome. And that's a staple. You cannot say, uh, let me guess, Samuel is pretty. No, Samuel is handsome, right? The same way you cannot say, uh, Anita is handsome. Anita is pretty, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning. We have different adjectives, but you cannot mix those adjectives, right? All right, everyone, with that being said, do you have questions about how to use adjectives? Do you have any questions? Or is everything clear with adjectives? Preguntas, ¿cómo utilizar adjetivos o está todo claro? Claro, teacher. All right, excellent. Now listen, we have to, we actually, this topic was for today's class because we're a little bit late with this, goes vocabulary, but we're gonna see them tomorrow because it's pretty extensive and I have pretty much a lot of information, but I'm mainly asking you to be in class tomorrow because we are going to practice with this vocabulary. And when you're learning English vocabulary, it's meaningful, okay? Meaningful. The structures are useful, but vocabulary, it's like the top thing that you need to have, all right? So please be in class tomorrow, and tomorrow we are going to practice with this vocabulary. All right, everyone, that was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you, and have a great night, and see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Miss. God Good bless night. you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.